In this lecture, we will create, alter and drop databases using MySQL Workbench. I have opened MySQL Workbench and logged in in my MySQL database server using root username and password. In the left hand column window, under schemas menu, we can see previously created databases and sys database that is a default system database for MySQL. To create a new database, right click under the schemas area and select create schema menu or from the top window toolbar, select this database icon. In the new schema window screen, enter the new database name. I will enter my test DB and use default collation. The collation is used to store specific data character mainly useful for storing foreign languages. Click this apply button which pop-ups a SQL script window. Click apply and finish to create the new database. You can see the new database is listed under the schemas menu. If you cannot see the new database, click this refresh icon and reload the list. Select the new database and click this I alphabet icon to display more information about the database. The information window displays several tabs like tables, columns, functions and also the users who can access the database from grants tab. MySQL Workbench does not provide any option to rename the database name but we can create update or delete the table and data rows using MySQL Workbench tool. To drop a database, select the database name from under schemas menu, right click and select drop schema option. Select drop now option from the pop-up window and the database including tables and data rows will be deleted from the database server.